Well, hello there, you lovely guys and girls. I hope you're all doing bloody well, and welcome along to another episode of Draw with Mikey, episode 64. Wow! How are you guys doing? So, this is the super casual Wednesday, Thursday ish, midweek, um, whatever series, basically. I draw whatever I want in a sketchbook or on a computer. Maybe you guys crack on with some of the artwork as well with my sweet dulcet tones in the background. And of course, we get to just catch up. It's my opportunity to read through your comments. So, um, the other week I basically asked you a question I've asked before, but we've got loads of newcomers to the channel. Welcome all! And that was, what was your first anime? What was your first experience into the world of anime, or manga I guess we could probably ask as well, um, that kind of really made you just think, wow, what the hell is this? I want to watch this. This is what I'm all about. Um, so yeah, let's just dive into the comments and see what you guys had to say. CV Drawing Etchy says, hmm, if I remember correctly, my first anime was Sailor Moon. Great and sexy bodies, you're really awesome at drawing curvy girls. Thank you very much, CV. In reference to the fact that uh, last episode, uh, in the sketchbook, I was just having, you know, just a practice run at some more hips and thighs in general. Seeing as we did a, another how to draw hips tutorial just a while ago. Um, in fact... That was quite uh, popular, I guess, because it makes quite a good reference sheet. Everybody wanted to look, which is absolutely cool. Um, but it does mean there's quite a few comments. So this is, again, it's my to my eternal shame. This is going to be one of those ones where I read most of your comments or like a good sum. And probably most of what I'm going to be doing is just uh, reading out the names of anime titles, as you guys have obviously been answering through the other question. But uh, all comments, all questions, any discussion, welcome in the midweek series. It's super unedited, swear alert, spoiler alert. Um, so Super Pony says, extra thick in relation to the pies and hips. Thank you very much. And Crixus Le Dieu says, or Deo, I better see Cory in the house in the comment section. Cory in the house. Was that one of your first ever anime? My God. Oh, goodness. Um, as ever, I'm talking really, really quickly. You've probably noticed. Here's the coffee sound effect. Grab yourself a cup of tea or coffee if you're working in the background. I have um, literally just finished some dinner because I'm about to um, get this out of the way. I've got literally like a 50 minute window to get this recorded and then hop off and then uh, go out and do something. So, uh, yeah, if I put on a pace, I'm not super hyperactive. It's me just doing my best to fit in all of your comments. Um, Callie says, my favorite anime is Panty and Stocking. And Blue Wolf says, my first anime was Soul Eater. My brother introduced me to it and I got really hooked to the animation and style. I think I had seven or nine years at the time. After I had seven or nine years, was seven or nine years old. Um, unless you're French, in which case you say, j'ai uh, sept ou uh, neuf ans. Something like that. You say, I have, in French. Sidetracking. After I got my first cell phone, I started watching a ton of different animes. Uh, first more ecchi, then more action, then more romance. And now I watch pretty much anything. Yeah, Blue Wolf. I will, in a very similar vein, watch anything of any genre if it's done well. Because if it's done well, it captivates you. You know what I mean? Like, a really good story or a really gripping like piece of art or something where it's just two characters talking versus, like an incredible like space event battle but maybe the space event battle film is shit and you really don't care vis-a-vis -vis independence day 2 whereas like this really intimate kind of film or just a really long slow burn like um manchester by the sea just all of a sudden you're just like fuck this is actually really intense it's so slow and ongoing and yet i'm gripped and really hooked into a story so it's not about the the story or the type or the genre I find, it's about how well it's put together and executed and de delivered. That's what really is going to make somebody come back for more, I think. Um, Dragon216 says, the first anime I have watched was Heaven's Lost Property. Oh, wow. Sora no Otoshimono. Yeah, man. Everybody remembers that with um, the watermelon robot Deus Ex Machina kind of girl. I think, I think I've done like... Um, a fan art of that ages ago, but I might have to do another draw it again for her as well. Lazy Haiti says my first anime was High School D times D. And Gas Mask Animation says, oh God, you talking about the 90s makes me think about how early 2000s is now a thing. I'm 17 and the 90s was always that thing people talked about and I just missed. But now there are kids that don't even remember it. That makes me deeply sad and upset. <laughs> Dude, seriously. Like, you think it's bad at 17. Wait till you're in your early mid 30s then <laughs> everything's a fucking nightmare. Uh, that's going to bug me all day. Damn youngsters. Hey, you can't fucking talk, son. Uh, also, you should draw me... Uh, wait, draw a, do a draw of Mikey where you just ask your viewers for quick tips that help them so that uh, you could share with everyone. Ooh, that's a very good question, good sir. I like that very much. All right, already we're going quick off uh, shooting from the hip here. Question for you guys at home. What were, like... What little quick tips in art have you found to be most valuable? Like, um, 
for me, little things included stuff like I never knew about just... This sounds like I'm a really dirty, filthy bastard, but I never knew about just washing your hands before you did some artwork and, like, putting down a clean sheet of paper um, to kind of rest your hand on instead of what you're working on, back when I was a little kid, obviously. I didn't realise that just smudging the paper with all your greasy hands actually messed up your line art and the way the ink took to the page and so on. So that was probably one that hit me. What about you people at home? Excellent gas mask animations. Well done. Also, by the way, seeing we're ranting about age, at work, like, uh, there's another guy who I just assumed was roughly, um, like, five years younger than me. Something like that, because he's absolutely sound. Um, but then I discovered he was born in, like, 1990. He's just a really big guy. And I was just like, fuck off. <laughs> you know what I mean? I felt deeply upset. Um, but that's the way of the world. Uh, so, yeah, anyone who's younger than, like, 30s, well done, well done. I just, I can't even, you know what I mean? <laughs> nah, you're all welcome. Uh, New Cloud says, Attack on Titan for me, and it blew my mind. Oh, Attack on Titan. Um, You can tell we're not going to get really far in this episode. I'm doing loads of sidetracking already. Attack on Titan, guys. Like, uh, basically, I mentioned a while ago that I was really into it, and I felt it was a bit like Lost. They started writing it, and it was really engaging, and then I started to feel like they had no ending or game plan in mind, and it was just a wandering mess. Um, but I have now, because you guys basically said stick with it, I have now read up to, spoiler alert, um, the bit where the real royal family um, are from a particular bloodline but can't get their memories altered, much like the Ackermans. And it's got to the point where um, uh, the main kids, what's his name, is all tied up in the big glowing underground vault. And uh, <laughs> I don't know any of their names. And the royal girl, Ellen, Historia, something like that. She's supposed to eat him when she takes on Titan form, but she's like sod it, s sacked it off, basically. And then her dad becomes this big bullshitty Titan that can't stand up straight. And then there's like an attack on the wall. And now, now like the survey corps are basically running the whole place now. So they're in charge. So that's just where I've got to. It feels like the massive end of a massive part of the story arc. But there's still people in, like, behind Wall Maria in the first section that are, like, have some really strong Titan forms. And there's, like, some infighting amongst the people Titans. It's messed up. It's it's all it's all a bit hazy with me. But, like, um, yeah, okay. So it was worth kind of getting back into it. It was, like, quite an engaging story. People who have Attack on Titan for their first anime, though, you guys are absolute youngsters. When um, we had this kind of chat before in a DWMs. Based on a lot of your responses, I could kind of gauge what rough age band you're in based on what your first anime and mangas were. Uh, so it's really intriguing to kind of see that. Um, Andreas Chapa says, first anime was High School D times D. Oh, okay. And Edsel Aguilar says, Naruto is my first anime. Edsel, my goodness. Yeah, Naruto episode 7. Like, I saw that out of the blue where Kakashi's fighting um, one of the uh, Shinobi Gata from the Hidden Mist Village. I forget his name. Zabza. There you go. Zabza. And uh, he just does like the monkey copy technique. And it was just so fucking good. I'd never seen anything like it. Akujin says Dragon Ball GT was my first anime. Wow, you are young. <laughs> and Zenkai was my favorite. I used to scream a lot in every transformation. Oh, wait, Zenki, is that one of the old school 90s, 80s transforming into giant mecha robot things? Well, the only reason I bring this up is um, suggestion time with Mikey. If any of you guys like reading books... Oh my Wow, I'm really here struggling to copy-paste just that word. There we go. If any of you guys like reading books, which if you don't, I strongly recommend you change your lifestyle and get into it. It's fucking amazing. Is, um... Oh, no, I don't know what this is. This looks a bit newer than what I was thinking of. Oh, no, it was from the 90s. Maybe it is what I'm thinking of. Huh. Okay, we'll come back to that. Great show. Um, Ready Player One. Uh, I've just finished reading that. I burned through that book. It was so fucking good. Uh... It is based on this, like, it's a future, like, basically there's a film coming out of it. I'm sure you've all seen the trailers or heard about it. I strongly recommend to read the book before the film makes the book obsolete, because nobody's probably going to want to read the book after the film comes out, and the film probably won't live up to the book. But it's this entire, like, gold hunt, basically, for the wealth and riches of, like, this super immersive internet where you literally, you live the world you're in sort of thing. You know, it's super, super high-end VR. and. Uh, the egg hunt and the quest surrounding it are all based off like retro 80s and 90s video games and pop culture and movies and TV and stuff and and albums as well. So it kind of builds up this world and in this VR world you can just have anything. So people will fly around from one planet to another in TIE Fighters or a ship from Serenity or the DeLorean and 
basically whatever you want you can get it's full on sci-fi through to wizards and there's planets like lord of the rings and stuff i'm not doing it any justice selling it but it's like a really pacey read um it's really good it has a nice message at the end as well um so yeah um that's mikey's book recommendation are we doing book club now yes we are uh so zenki i'm gonna leave on another tab thank you click my way back and worth probably saying as well is that uh couldn't think of what to draw in a sketchbook i wasn't really feeling it had a couple of false starts then i had to remind myself that the sketchbook isn't for final art the whole point of the sketchbook is ideas like even i forget um that you can be rough and loose and it doesn't have to be perfect and pretty and once i got my head around that again i was able just to fill up the sketchbook a little bit more with a whatever drawing so i was having a little flick around on pinterest and ages and ages ago i talked about um this really obscure manga that i'd never heard of it's probably not that obscure called cannabis works and i was really intrigued by it i still haven't read it but i've seen loads of these different stills and i'm just like wow what the fuck is this this looks really good so i found this random image on pinterest of just like this kind of 90s 80s style girl sitting on a like a motocross bike or something like this and i was like oh i really like the um the flow of this picture and the curve and the rhythms and that retro feel to it i'm gonna just sit down and copy out like a really shitty version um and it turns out the person that drew this because i try my best to if i'm copying out stuff on pinterest i try to shout about it because pinterest is amazing for finding art but it's fucking difficult to find out who did the art um so this is a guy called uh tatsuyuki tanaka uh, and i think it's an image from a doujin he's called uh he drew called orange and this guy did it before i was born and I think he drew this when he was like 18 years old. So have a look up. Uh, the work is Tatsuyuki Tanaka and it's an image from a manga called Orange. But maybe I'll need to make sure I add that to the description later. I do tend to forget. Oh dear. This is a very rambling draw with Mikey. I can feel it. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's go back to your comments. Um, Anderson Cassanio says Dragon Ball is his first. And Brandon Flores says it was Gurren Lagan. Tengen Topper Gurren Lagan, I think it is. It's what you got you got you to start drawing in the first place. Yeah, not a bad shout. That's a really like vibrant, visceral anime. There's always shit going on. The Zoid Industries, uh, it was Yu Yu Hakushu or Dragon Ball Z. Could have been Zoid's New Century Zero. Can't really remember. It's been so long. Hashtag hardcore crew. Let's have a sip of coffee. DBZ for Juicy Pies and General Thunder says uh, Ponyo. Your first anime was Ponyo, Ponyo on the Cliff, or Ponyo by the Cliff, the um, Miyazaki. That's a really, like, I mean, that's, um, there's nothing wrong with that film at all. Like, it's really nice to get into. It's not their finest. It's absolutely not their worst. Um, and full of that kind of Miyazaki magic. But that's a really random one for it to be your first main anime to get into. Oh, awesome. Good on you. It's uh, not a bad place to start by any means just really unusual um pyro ignis says hey mikey hello pyro i'd say if i remember correctly my first anime was a movie called kiki's delivery service oh fuck me talking about the uh, miyazaki films that's a lovely film as well um but that's when i had no idea what anime was it seems we were all shown anime when we were young even my father said he used to watch speed race when he was a child which is an anime they tried to get us hooked early <laughs> yes pyro ignis yes they do um excellent kiki's delivery service like both of those are like really heartfelt Miyazaki films. Uh, Dragon Ball was first, uh, said Richard Martinez. Excellent. And Dragon Ball Z for Sadiaki Grant. There's quite a few Dragon Ballers going on down here. Like, I'm a real baller. Um, Eleven Jinjin says, hey, Mikey. Hello, Eleven Jinjin. You should launch some kind of four page comic. I, comic. I bet interest from your channel would make it explode. FII. Hentai's are easier to write for. Cheers. <laughs> so I should do a four page um, adult um, comic of some sort. I refuse. Um, you know, on Patreon, there might be a boob or two because screw you, society. I'll do what I want. Um, but no, I don't want to, like, I've got to keep it safe and accessible for the crowd. I keep having to say this in my defense. Having said that, having literally just said that um, on Patreon before, I have mentioned that I'm kind of in the back of my head thinking about a very short, short uh, gender swapped uh, Genos comic from One Punch Man, Twin Cores. So, <laughs> like, I might genuinely be doing that already. So, thanks for the suggestion. Um, Oh man, Cory in the house says, does anyone care artists? Oh, there was another Cory in the house, so well done. Kill the Kill was the first anim anime for Sayuri Red Fox Uchiha. And Kitty Kitty Meow Meow says, the first anime I ever saw was Beyond the Boundaries. Oh, can what's that? Kantana no Kyokai, something like that. I love it so much, you say. Still your favourite anime to this day. I um, absolutely love uh, that little girl character with the pink hair. And just her whole design and look, like from the glasses to wearing a cardigan. 
obviously that weird crazy demon hunting blood blade technique thing but like that character i am absolutely borrowing from that design to do like a character of my own at some point she's so good i really like it yeah i remember watching that and thought it was okay which probably means it's really good and i was just being like really hypercritical because i tend to be i tend to be really critical of anime these days because i I'm passionate about it to a certain degree. Like, I'm also not up to date, so I'm hardly, like, the biggest anime fan these days. But because I want other people to embrace it, I get really angry at shit anime because that's exactly the kind of, like, bullshit by the dozen that puts people off anime in the first place. And I'm just like, no, there's good stuff out there. You've got to give it a chance. Hmm. Um, Marcus asks, what do you work with? Well, Marcus, when I'm working on a computer, I like to use a Huion GT... 220 version 2 graphics tablet monitor um although i am again on the cusp of doing some more tablet reviews oh mate it's tablet time this is life um when i'm working with pen and paper i use let's have a quick look unibal eye fine liner from mitsubishi pencil co limited and a uh, i think it's a derwent sketchbook that i've got going on as well um gino cyber was your first anime garland susbury gino cyber Wow, I haven't fucking heard that in a long time. I'm just going to bring up some Gino Cyber on the Google image search. Gino Cyber. Fucking hell, that takes me back. That's like, that's an old schooler right there. If that was your first anime, mate, you are, you're in the club. Don't you worry. I mean, <laughs> that's some fucking messed up shit. Don't get me wrong. But like, that's a fucking old school anime. Gino Cyber. Oh, man. Like, I've mentioned this before, I used to have this really fucking good, like... Oh, man, I'm just... I'm going slightly off-piece. I'm just having a look to make sure I can't see it. Wait a minute. Just, you know, amuse yourselves for a moment whilst I'm away from the microphone. I'll, I'll sing a little song. I don't want to think about anybody else. Anytime I do 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 touch myself. Oh, do 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 when I think about you, I touch myself. Do, do, do. Okay, I can't find it. I just wanted a really quick look. Hey, insight back into my life. I just wanted a really quick look in, look in these um, little box drawers I've got with some old school Western comics of all things. Just to make sure I couldn't find it. But it was this manga promotional pamphlet. Like this, well, fairly thick copy book. And it was all about... Um, like 80s and early 90s anime of the cyberpunk genre and different types of like cosmic cyber and cyber horror punk and yeah that was Gino Cyber was like one of their big hitters back on then oh you've taken me back this is basically why I ask questions like what's your first anime I don't want to hear what you've got to say I just want you guys to remind me of anime that I loved when I was younger excellent um Daisuke Uchiha yeah you're drawing uh Ruby in the background so this is a thing I always want to um know I'm just really curious um Obviously, part of this series is I'm just talking and talking over when I've done some drawing. And maybe you guys are getting your own artwork done as well. I always say this, but what are you working on? Like, what are your current projects at the moment? You're getting artwork done. Are you submitting for something? Are you just doing some fan art? Are you just chilling out because you like to draw? Maybe you're not drawing at all. Maybe you're writing a creative piece. Maybe you're not even doing that. Maybe you're going for a run and you've got YouTube Red and you're putting this on your headphones, in which case why the hell would you listen to this when you're running that's the worst idea you're an idiot put on some rage against the machine your time will increase dramatically um but yeah basically what are you guys up to i always like checking it out simply because um like i'm just some bloke who really likes art obviously i guess this is a story for the newcomers um as opposed to some particular youtuber but it means that uh, i mostly just want to sort of check out what's going on with everybody who likes art and anime and similar stuff so uh, don't hesitate to get in touch and this is my opportunity to read through your comments because the channel's getting slowly but surely a little bit more popular as we go and it slowly grows it's a real slow burn but it does mean that the other videos get quite popular and i just i can't go through all the comments now it's really crazy i can't even massively remember where it stopped but i used to be able to see every comment and reply because there weren't many um now i can just about tackle a bit of what happened in the dwm and barely keep up with anything else so this is the place if you want to get all up in my business or obviously facebook and twitter oh my god don't i mean you're welcome to it's not the end of the world but for anybody who tries to send me direct messages or um send message requests or whatever it is on twitter that doesn't come up correctly in my alerts I was randomly scrolling through my phone on the toilet, I won't lie, earlier today at work, and I just found, like, like if you swipe right enough or something, I just found a whole load of message requests. 
but the message requests are all the messages you've been sending me on Twitter. <laughs> that goes back quite a way this year where I've not seen any of them. So I really do apologise. I'm not blanking you guys on Twitter on purpose. I didn't know they were there. So yeah, you can message me on Facebook. It takes me ages to get back. Other things are fine. This is probably one of the best places to try. Unless it's something really important, you just email me directly. Um, but yeah, so this is like where it is for me to kind of say hi to you guys. That's what I'm getting at. Again, just a massive tangent. I'm digesting my dinner. <laughs> I'm struggling. <laughs> All I want to do is um, sip my coffee and have a nap. But no. We're going to power through. Um, by the way, I think there's over 300 comments this video. We're barely going to touch on any of them. I'm really sorry. Jim Mech says, for me, the first anime... Yeah, okay, Jim Mech is saying from the first anime, you can see how old somebody is. Good job for the work. Thank you very much, sir. And you are absolutely right. Exactly what I was saying earlier. Dark Janet, uh, Digimon was your first anime. Digimon, get out. Um, and Sky King says, yes, back in the sketchbook. Yeah, it was a bit of a half and half. Sketchbook start and colouring those hips on Photoshop still. Um, however, this one you'll notice is purely back on the sketchbook. Because, yeah, um... Like, you've got to mix it up. I was working on a tablet a lot for DWMs, which is fine, but I had a yearning to um, put some ink back on the paper. One day, with any luck, there'll be like a Mikey on tour, where basically I won't have a place to live. That'll be the worst version of it. Um, but a good version of it will probably mean I'll be going around with like a tablet, um, maybe just traveling and still trying to make YouTube videos. Hopefully, if YouTube kind of helps pay for that. So we'll see how that goes. But it probably means then, unless I get like a really good setup that I can fold into like, you know, a hippie bag or something that most things will go back digital. We'll see how that all goes. Maybe I need to get myself a Lavia microphone, something like that, for the travels. Uh, Andre X 145 says, currently I'm working on a piece that will go into my portfolio to hopefully get into college. Good luck, good sir. And I just want to say I would not be here and would not be able to even consider the school I'm hoping to get in if you weren't for you. Oh, thank you very much, dude. Thanks more than I can express. You're welcome. Uh, it, obviously, if you're doing artwork and stuff, dude, that's down to you. I'm glad I was of some use, but you know, pat yourself on the back if anything. Nice one. Titan Genesis says, can't wait for episode 69, if you know what I mean. Um, no, I don't. You'll need to explain it in detail in the comment section. Write it in an email and send it to the police. White Noise says, Naruto is my first knowing what anime was. Well balanced uh, answer. And something in some sort of um, Urdu? or Farsi that I can't read, that's your name, says, I am a student from Iraq. Oh, it's Iraqi. Uh, thank you for the lecture, and I hope you can translate the video in Arabic, please. <laughs> Dude, I don't have that power. <laughs> I can't translate videos into Arabic. Um, God, do I need to translate some of these videos? Like, I don't want to make it inaccessible for people. Oh, we'll come back to that. What are the really popular languages around the world? Is it Spanish, Mandarin, Chinese? Um, Indian of some sort? Must be. Must be like Urdu, Chinese, Spanish. And English, obviously. Something like that, I guess, uh, the world's most popular languages. Um and je parle un peu le français, mais même pas très bien. And um <laughs> Spanish is terrible. Hey <laughs> Yo hablo espanol o, o hablo espanol. Un poco. Uh, and that's about it. And I don't know any Urdu. Uh, Somebody tried to teach me some back in my last job. Bless them for being such kind people, but I forgot. Uh, Verandre or Ver... Oh, Verdandi. That's your name. Sorry, I just murdered it. My first anime was Ranma and a Half. I found it in one of my mum's really old VHS tapes. <laughs> you got to be careful, mate. you you got to be careful digging around old unmarked VHS tapes in your parents' closet. You're going to see some shit you can't unsee. Um, one day I really wanted to know what it was all about. Um, in the last DWM you mentioned you actually didn't watch that many ecchi anime. So what got you into drawing it? Read more. Let's click. Keep up the good work and have a great day. Thank you very much, Verdandi. Um, no, I don't watch that much ecchi anime because personally I think it's a little bit of a waste of time because I don't have much time and I'd rather watch, much like I said in the very beginning, something that's engaging. Like if I want to you know, check out something hot and sexy, even I'll just go back onto Pornhub and keep it maybe a bit more traditional. Um, not that I'm, you know, telling anybody how to live their lives. You enjoy what you enjoy, I don't mind. But um, I'm not a massive fan of it because in a very similar vein, people who don't know about anime are just like, oh, it's all big tits and stuff. I'm not into that, says the guy who draws big tits anime um, characters on his channel. The reason why I quite got into that um, is metrics. I'm not going to lie. Like, uh, I'm quite happy drawing most things. I like to draw. 
Um, and if you look at like my really old videos, I did like loads of artwork for pencil, drew different character designs, not particularly etchy at all. Um, and I've got like a playlist, which is like an art. Yeah, it's just an art and drawing like playlist or something like that. And that's just some stuff where I've worked with watercolor or I've done some kind of more detailed studies of like vagabond artwork or like um, I've done like a Rick Grimes sort of like piece and kind of tried to do something a little bit more artistic. Um, I enjoy doing that to kind of stretch my wings a little bit. Um, but that shit doesn't get any views, to be fair. Like it's it's really like of low interest to an internet air quotes crowd. Um, so I'll spend ages pouring effort into that and creating something I'm quite proud of. Nobody will really view it. That's not a problem because I enjoy it and I'll just do it in my own time. But if I spend less time drawing something in a simpler style like anime and give it big boobs, all the clicks, all the clicks, YouTube revenue, more subscribers, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, I'm just following the not 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 following the algorithm, but like I'm definitely tailoring just recently, especially um, a little bit of what I do a bit more to like follow the idea of making a little bit more money. Um, because in the background, I may not massively have a house to live in for the longest amount of time going forward. So I'm starting to have to think right. I'll get people to send me tablets. I'll give those tablets away and hopefully get more subs and grow and like. Just make enough money to maybe pay like you know eventual rent somewhere else and stuff like that so that's kind of where it's going um but yeah boobs get clicks no two ways about it you've got to accept that and move on with your life jeremy <laughs> um, that better not be your surname i mean if it is like i'm not hating but fuck me i can't say it jeremy what a benich like you need more vowels but welcome good sir uh, original captain harlock from the 80s when you were four years old living in japan and i remember his pirate spaceship well at the same time i watched 80s voltron fuck me like you guys need to all read um ready player one it's got so many old school things um voltron yes uh captain harlock control c opens in a new tab let's copy over all that geno cyber it's a lot of blood and guts in that google image Ah, I've not watched this, but I've always been curious. There's always like this weird, how to put it, like sci-fi pirate, but a kind of romantic look to it. I don't know how to put it. Um, it, Wait a minute. Has Voltron been made into a modern video game? Because there's loads of like really high definition renders of it. That's what a weird thing to remake. Looks quite interesting. I'm going to come back to that later. Um, Let's pop that back. Good suggestion, uh, Jeremy. Vabinich, excellent. Uh, tech on keys, I Technokix. God, your names. You people with your YouTube names, says Mikey Mega Mega. My first anime was Dragon Ball Z, and I found it when I was around about six. Awesome. Like, seeing as so many people have you been mentioning Dragon Ball, absolutely. But if you're in the UK and you were lucky enough, lucky enough to have Sky TV, then back in the day for my generation, you probably grew up on a bit of Dragon Ball Z on the Cartoon Network. And I think probably most people in the States had Cartoon Network around them as well. It was what introduced um, a lot of anime to a whole generation of people into the West, which was absolutely powerful. My mate had it. It blew my mind. I didn't have it myself. So I kind of got into um, a really early version of Hunter Hunter before the series they're making now and also or the series they've made, I should say. They finished at the Chimera Antark. And also, uh, like, really early Naruto, thanks to the earliest forms of torrenting and back in the days of Napster and stuff like that. Way, way back. Application says, Hey, Mikey. Hello, Applications. I think I told you this before, but my first anime was either Samurai, Pizza Cats, no joke, it's bleeping real. Totally acceptable. Um, or Escaflaune. Escaflaune. I wonder if I've said this before. Yes, man. That was like, I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed Escaflowne, quite enjoyed the Escaflowne uh, movie. And more than that, Yoko Kano's score. That bitch can make some music. <laughs> That's such a rude way to say it. She's an incredibly talented human being. Yoko Kano's score and the orchestral stuff she does to that is really, really good. Um, you say that I was really drawn to Escaflowne because it was a beautiful and very unique story at the time, correct? But I guess Fox realised it was too mature or something and pulled it four episodes in. Oh shit, really? Escaflowne wasn't fully aired. That's fucking messed up. Maybe it just had bad ratings. Breaking my child heart, you say. After that, there was Digimon, but Dragon Ball T was the first anime that I realised was actually anime, and I mean, come on, the Saiyan saga is gripping. A lot of shit went down, good sir. And visually amazing for a kid's first taste in anime. Correct. The rest is history. Thank the stars for Toonami and later Adult Swim. 
Oh, was it Toonami? I think it was Toonami I was thinking of. Ignore all the bits where I've said Cartoon Network a moment ago and replace it with Toonami. Good. Also, have you ever seen the original Birdie the Mighty OVAs? Check it out if you can. It's like four episodes. Uh, that's been recommended before. Possibly by you before applications. Um, that is like on a really old to-do list of things I should watch, but I don't think I even check that list anymore. That's really bad. Um, there's also a PS for Melfina from Outlaw Star. Oh, I know all about that. Um, and a link to some of your work, but you haven't actually put a link. Oh, go about sending some artwork, Gim. Yeah, like um, I mentioned, Facebook's a good way to do it, and I am finally, thanks to you guys reminding me, mostly in this series, I'm finally catching up with some of the, I mean, I'm fucking miles behind, but I'm going through your messages on Facebook, sorting out a fan art album or a your art album, because it's hardly fan art, it's whatever you want. Um, and just organizing that and responding to your comments. So you can always message me your artwork in a private message on Facebook. Uh, private? It's not all right. Well, it's just a direct message to my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Mikey Mega Mega. That's not a bad place to go for such things. Um, oh, oh my God. Yeah, obviously there's so many comments. Let's keep scrolling. Um, Anime Sketcher says, I'm not very good at anatomy. Any recommendations on how to improve? Yes, watch drawing anatomy videos on youtube for a start get a book on figure drawing and then get into real life drawing study look observe copy get a feel for it understand the major muscle groups um, and how they sit on a frame like the skeleton you need to know a bit about anatomy if you want to draw characters you don't have to know it all but you do need to know the basic building blocks and muscle groups definitely ms sism says mikey mega mega please try not to get demonetized on youtube uh, I don't the fence right now. What? I don't even understand what you're saying. But no, I don't want to get demonetized on YouTube, but I do all the time. Even the last EWM and the last fan art, those videos now automatically um, get restricted advertising. And I have to submit each one of them to get manually reviewed. So someone at YouTube can look at it and decide whether or not YouTube will give me advertising money or not. It's a real fucker now. Cell V. Oh yeah, and YouTube now does not display my patreon links anymore it won't um like at the end of the videos you can make buttons like subscribe and click on this video and stuff youtube will allow me to add patreon on there but it doesn't display any of my patreon links or any patreon cards or tabs anymore because apparently my patreon's too risque for them to link to which is why sometimes i just chuck it in the comments or just mention it a load at the end of a video motherfuckers man just trying to eat you know what i mean anyway onward and upward uzaki kenna says did you ever do a tutorial on lips and mouths if not can you possibly do a tutorial on those two no i haven't yes i can good suggestions and yud says wait my man's drawing with no sketch but with a pen mike how do you do it um so basically not using too many building blocks and putting a pen straight to paper without pencil observe copy repeat get a really sharp eye you'll get there that's basically just how i do things um super bob says i watch boku no hero academia too my first anime was my neighbor totoro i think another miyazaki as a first one intro that's i mean the last two we talked about were really good kiki's delivery service is uh, a great one my neighbor totoro probably better than kiki's delivery service i'd probably say quite possibly i think so yeah really really good Warframe war frame player says my first anime was cory in a house oh man you guys really love cory in a house around here oh wait in brackets it was actually jintama i didn't finish then started to watch kill the kill then re zero then naruto oh well kill the kill first then into the others what an odd way to do it. Um, <laughs> Steven Prasad says, Don't ever compare Dragon Ball Evolution to anything because of how shitty it is. Lols. But try Natsumi's Book of Friends. It's nice. I was also going to ask for a tutorial on body twists and folds. Yes, when you lean down in a frame, how does the flesh roll on to the flesh and other such things? Absolutely don't compare Dragon Ball Evolution to anything. Um, unless it's like Hitler or something because it's the worst. It's so bad. Although... Even that's probably not a fair comparison, you know what I mean? Uh, Richard Blade X Art and Gaming says, Hello Mikey, hello Richard Blade X Art and Gaming. Nice work again as always. Thank you very much, good sir. Um, It's never always supposed to be final, you know, looks great artwork for the sketchbook. It's all about just sketching, maybe just getting like a kink out of the hand. Maybe you just need to do some shit drawing before you can do some good drawing. That's what my sketchbook time is all about. It's anything. 
Um, but you go on to say, my first anime has to be Macron 1 and Robotech, and I became a huge Macross Plus fan. Oh, also, you got into manga anime during those periods of time up to the 90s, like Dominion Tank Police. Oh, yeah, okay, good. Goku Midnight Eye, Project Aiko, Ninja Scroll, Excellent MacGyver, Black Magic M66, Street Fighter. There are so many strong series from back in the day. You, sir, are correct. These, um, there are many more I've seen, but so far, these are a few personal favorites. That is a good collection of personal favourites, good sir. I'm behind you on that one. Uh, Legend of the Overfiend blew my mind. Oh, <laughs> turn rock. Too much. Like, um, Geno Cyber's, like, over in that direction. Legend of the Overfiend, too much in that direction. Um, and Ronnie Man says, Are people retarded? Like, come on, didn't you watch Pokemon when you were young? Because if you didn't, what did you do with your life? Oh, man. Uh, that like oh shit when was that pokemon phase like round one pokemon phase in the uk i think that was post naruto phase i'm pretty sure for me personally i'm yeah i think so i'm not sure yeah fuck everyone was in that pokemon i had the original pokemon red and blue on a game boy like a number of other people i knew oh man you know what fuck i've still got that i've still got an original game boy in a box in the attic with pokemon red and pokemon blue and tetris oh fuck well, that's me not doing anything this weekend. <laughs> that's exactly what I'm going to be up to. Um, what's it? Omniscient Warrior says, I couldn't tell you what the first anime I saw was. It's fine. You can talk about anything, mate. It could be one of these. Sailor Moon, Samurai, Pizza Cats. I can't read it without saying it like that. Dragon Ball Z or something, but I don't remember. Also, I can't say I've had a wow factor of anime, but I did really enjoy Princess Mononoke. Yes, Mononoke Hime was excellent, possibly my favourite Studio Ghibli film, in fact. Ghost in the Shell and Ergo Proxy. Ghost in the Shell, yes. <laughs> Ergo Proxy, come on. Talked about this. Did you not just find that fucking dull? Oh, man, Ergo Proxy. Uh, not to say that these aren't uh, many others I enjoyed, but those struck me as the... Or struck you the hardest. Yeah, that's fair. I know Ergo Proxy was very clever, and I know for a fact I was not in the right receptive mindset to be watching it when I was, but... Oh, just got no interest to go back to that. Not for fucking 20 plus episodes. Um, Berserk 1997 for Shiba Doje. Excellent way to get in. Fucking hell, Berserk. And the sketch artist says, My first was Yu Yu Hakusho and it's also my favourite anime. I've watched it about five times over and I wish they would remake it in better animation. Yu Yu Hakusho. I've not given that the time. Wait, who am I thinking of? No, yeah. I've not given that the time it deserves. I've watched the first few episodes. I have... I think all of you, you hack a show, um, sitting on a hard drive somewhere, like a really old one, um, because obviously it's, is it Togashi Yoshi? It's basically, it's the guy behind Hunter Hunter, and that was what he did before, and I therefore am obliged to watch it. I really want to, but I just started it, and then uh, does a kid die, like in the beginning episode, and becomes a ghost, and then there's like his ginger bully mate or something who can semi-see the dead? I forget how it works. It's been years and years and years. Um, and I was like, wow, I get to watch that later. But yes, I really want to give Yu Yu Hakusho a go. I understand it goes into a celestial tournament saga or something fairly quickly. So we'll see how that goes. You know what I watched instead? I'll tell you what I watched. You haven't asked. I'll tell you. Um, back when I got Yu Yu Hakusho or downloaded it by legal and or illegal means. Play it safe, kids. You buy stuff and support artists these days. I have to say that. Um, I got that and I got Flame of Wrecker. And ended up watching all of fucking Flame of Wrecker instead of Yu Yu Hakusho. Like a fucking mug. Like... Oh, just... Oh, Flame of Wrecker. He's, he's got a gauntlet and different flames come out. And the whole thing is like a long tournament. And the guy's got an ice sword. And I'm, it probably wasn't that bad. But I remember watching that, like, in 2005 or something. And I was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> Another round of a tournament. Every, group after group of different people he was fighting. Um, whereas maybe I should have probably put my time into Yu Yu Hakusho as well. I'm not hating on Rekka, um, but I just, I didn't come away from that thinking it had, like, anything too amazing to it. I was about to make an unfair comparison by saying Flame of Rekka to Yu Yu Hakusho is like Outlaw Star to, um, Cowboy Bebop. But, um, I quite enjoyed Outlaw Star, actually, um, quite a fair whack, so that's not fair. Um, but that's what I was vaguely thinking of. Maybe some of you people kind of get what I'm talking about there. Maybe not entirely. Oh, we're going to have to do some power scrolling, guys. Like, I love you lot. Seriously. Um, more than platonic, it's sexual. Yeah, deal with it. 
<laughs> don't worry, it's not. I'm not going to fucking find out where you live. But um, I fucking love you guys. If I can get involved in a comment, that's so cool. I love the fact there's this massive list of all your animes and the things that touched you. There's too many of them, though, to read through. Uh, Rebecca Nandez says, Hey, Mikey. Hello, Rebecca. I'm teaching myself how to draw, and I find your videos very helpful. And I enjoy hearing you ramble on. Thank you. You're welcome. And ramble on is the polite way of putting it. It is just <laughs> a solid talk at the microphone read for your comment session. Every time, week after week. You're so lucky. Hypergyver2 says, Have you considered writing a drawing book series along with the vein of your tutorial series? To answer your question on what started me off, it's difficult to say as I've seen so much over the years, pinpointing it down is nearly impossible. To give you an idea of what I've seen over the years, this should give you an idea. Wow, great way to overuse uh, nouns and chip. Vampire Hunter D. Good. Dominion Tank Police. Good. Bubblegum Crisis. Very good. Wicked City. Wicked City! Oh, man. Akira. Excellent. Ghost in the Shell. Excellent. Those Who Hunt Elves. Never heard of it. I'll have to look it up. Gunsmith cats, I think you're going to say. Yep. Oh, wait. I've just expanded your comment. There's fucking loads. Um, I'm just going to pick my favourites out of your favourites. Fist of the North Star. Record of Lodos War. Record of Lodos War. That was like a one-off film where, like, do they find... Oh, no, I'm thinking of Battle Angel Attila or Lita or something like that. Anyway, I've just confused myself. Don't worry about it. Um, Saint Seiya, Ninja Scroll, Giver, Astro Boy, Trigun. Trigun is so good. It's not quite Cowboy Bebop, but it's so close. Trigun, like, actually, Trigun, as you get into the second half of the series, all of a sudden drags its feet after Vash, you know, kind of stops being Vash for a bit. That really took a while to kind of get round. Um, in particular, I think it's the one where the kid that controls. Um, the sandworms through a hypersonic ear device or something around about when that episode is it really slowed down the only reason i'm focusing on the negative part of trigun firstly is because outside of that trigun is outstandingly good trigun is so fucking strong and i felt the fucking feels at the end of trigun that really messed me up and the whole nature of like um like trigun's avasha stampede's motivation and who he is and the kind of person he decides to be is all based on this one person he used to know from his childhood and what happened to her and what happened to everybody and what happened to society on this planet and how it's kind of powered by variation, spoiler alert, of him or other things born in similar, fucked up, basically. I can't even describe it. Like, I remember watching the end of Trigun. I'm <laughs> really sorry, Hypergyver 2. I've, again, tangent. I'm aware of what I'm doing. This is terrible. Like, if you haven't watched Trigun, watch Trigun, guys. But, like, the last couple episodes of that, like, the last two, I think, in particular, the one that's a flashback that just shows you where they all came from, and then the last episode. Fuck me. I was feeling feels from an animation at the end of that. That really fucking got to me. Trigun is excellent. Watch it. Um, and Tenji Otengi, excellent. Soccer Hunters, never seen it. High School D times D, Dragon Ball, and so many more that I can't name them all to wrap up your super long comment, Hypergyver. Thank you. Luxadia says, my first anime was Letter B. Never finished it, though. Damn, copyrights. Sounds like you're watching it online. And uh, Sharuya Al Alapti says, well, I'm 15 now, but I started watching when I was around 7 or 8. Yeah, I know I was pretty young, but my cousin showed it to me. It was Naruto, my first anime. And I started drawing in my 8th grade, and I'm still drawing. Hope to make my own manga for the fun in the future once I get better. Good for you. Like, making manga's fun. I became pretty natural for me... Oh, it became pretty ma natural for me to watch anime and western cartoons. No ones that were weird to me because of this. Even though I've been watching anime and reading manga for a long time, I can't seem to draw them properly. Don't worry, you'll get there. There's a load of stuff about drawing for imagination and getting your flow in which uh, it will happen to you, don't you worry. Just keep at it. Like, don't stress about it. Let's go for some more power scrolling. I'm skipping over so many old schooler names on here, but I'm always saying hello to you. Bloody love for a lot of you. Let's... How are we doing for time? <gasps> Let's fit in a couple more. Um, Steve O'Bread says, Hey, Mikey, I've been wondering if you have any characters of your own that you're particularly attached to. Steve O'Bread, let's stop your comment right there. You've just reminded me of a first part of somebody else's comment I didn't answer in terms of making my own tutorial book. A book on how to draw anime or anime characters or anime girls or something like that. Yeah, I'm kind of up for that in a very general sense. No time to work on that right now. Maybe in the future. Um, I'd quite like to get into it. I might do like a Kickstarter or something sometime next year or give it a good think. 
We'll see how we go. Anyway, Stevo, uh, but it feels like I've never not watched anime. You say it must be must have been Digimon and Pokemon that really got you into it. Digimon especially, since uh, I knew how to have fun. Oh, it knew how to have fun as well as take itself seriously. Um, Digimon, I didn't have a problem with it. I just remember there's like a dinosaur thing, and then there's a character that did like a Rosetta Stone attack. Does that exist? Did I make that up? I think it's a real thing. Um. But because I'd watched a lot of Pokemon, I was like, ooh, fuck Digimon. Digimon's just a fucking rip-off of Pokemon. Ooh, anything that's not Pokemon is shit. And then, obviously, I realised that the world's a bit of a wider place than having such narrow views. But, yeah, I was definitely more Pokemon than Digimon in the day. Um, any characters of my own that I'm particularly attached to? Ooh, in some of my older sketchbooks, um, yeah. In some of the rough drafting and character-building stuff for the manga that's always floating in the back of my mind, yes. Um, but yeah, I've got like an older one, two, or three that have always floated around that I quite like drawing. I'm probably going to have to make a uh, range of uh, somewhat etchy characters of some degree um, for the sake of putting a few other things together. Originals, of course, but probably with some incredibly obvious and common character tropes because let's focus on the drawing for what I'm going to do that for. If I sound like I'm being obtuse and vague, it's for the sake of being obtuse and vague. Uh, Joel sends, uh, or sends, or says, there we go. Uh, I think every time I tell somebody my first big anime experience, it's a different thing because I don't remember clearly. Yeah, a lot of us older gens all find that. The youngsters, they know exactly what it was. Also, I saw lots of anime before knowing it was Japanese. Yes, absolutely. I saw some translated random late night episodes of Fist of the North Star, like the original, in English, not realising it was an anime. I was just like, what the fuck is this? This is incredible. Anyway, uh, do, do, do get a robo, which you would have seen in the 80s. Anyway, I'm rehashing my last comment because it's actually important this time. Okay, excellent. I do always tell you guys, if I've not read your comment in this episode and it's something important to say, copy, paste it or type it again. Hopefully, I'll be able to catch it next time around. I do my best to read all of your comments on here, even if I don't have time to read all of them out. Anyway, so what are you saying, bruv? Um, have you considered having a non-Patreon donation method in addition to Patreon? I have money to give you. Thank you very much. But I don't want to do a double conversation like Patreon does to non-USA folk like me or monthly payments like Patreon does. I think I know what you mean because uh, Patreon's a really particular payment method if you want to support Mikey and get like rewards back other ways and other things who knows maybe we'll just go back to this whole kickstarter thing i mentioned before when i want to like make a book thing is just like oh, oh, don't get me wrong i'll take your money i like i need to pay rent um but in a very general sense like i don't i'm not worthy of it unless you're getting something back i can't just take your money and do nothing so obviously i like to make sure there's rewards on patreon because then i feel like it's a two-way thing and i feel personally happier that way um i don't know why but like yeah and uh in terms of like a Kickstarter or something, yeah, but because I'll be creating something else that will hopefully be useful to people who want to get into drawing. Um, other ways, though, who knows? We'll, we'll come across it. We'll think something out, Dale. Don't you worry. Um, Reckless God says, what pen is... Oh, motherfucker. What pen is that, you say? What pen? We're fucking... You motherfucker, Reckless Gods. Like, this might be an innocent question. If you're innocently saying that, <laughs> poor you, because you're a prick. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Like, uh... Dude, we are fucking... This is episode... What did I say? Was it episode 64? We're deep into DWMs. I thought we were past this, but you've just triggered me with a completely innocent reading of what pen is that, and now I have to take a sip of coffee from the old school days. Fuck. Wow. This will make no sense to 90% of the people still listening to this video. And if you're listening this deep in, you are the hashtag hardcore crew. Wow, all the old things are coming back to me. Hashtag hardcore crew. Hashtag sip of tea. Hashtag sip of coffee. But, um, yeah, Reckless Gods, I'm not going to tell you what pen it was, because I mentioned it earlier. Oh, no, I will. I'm kind. It's a Uniball I Mitsubishi Fineliner. Um, but you've also made me have to take a sip of my coffee, which isn't a problem, but you probably don't understand why. To be fair, I barely understand now. It's just a thing that happens. Um, oh, man, so many juicy comments. Like, so many of you are saying so many things. Uh, Yagami Yami says, what up, fam? Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. What up, fam, he says. I started with a lot of 80s shit like Tekaman Blade, Bubblegum Crisis, and Gunsmith Cats. As I told you before, a very long time ago, I'm old school. Yes. And also Ninja Scroll as well. Triple yes to Ninja Scroll. Um, oh, man, we're, we're coming short of time, guys. Oh, man, there's so many... <laughs> it's like... 
Like, so many people have, like, really dug in and talked about um, all this stuff. Hippo says, hey, Mikey. Hello, Hippo. Um, you didn't get to my comment paragraph last time, but long story short, I like you and your drawings. Thank you very much, Hippo. That's a very kind thing to say. Um, I'm almost caught up with a series. I started from DWM1. Wow. And I'm now on Draw with Mikey episode 48. Hashtag hardcore crew. <laughs> Moving on, my first anime that I ever watched was Yu Yu Haki Show. Brilliant. We've just been talking about that. One of the only animes for I don't mind it being in dub. Oh, let's not <laughs> let's not trigger Mikey into another one of those dub versus sub conversations. I'm going to make a separate video probably um, about that. Ah, oh, no, I'm I'm glad it worked for you in dub. That's all. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say for now. Um, what else is going on? So many things. Um, Noxy Blackwing says hi, Mikey. Hello, Noxy. Uh, I missed your sketchbook videos. Um, this is so awesome. My first anime that really got me into things was Yu-Gi-Oh or Pokemon. I kind of started watching them on the same day, and I've since stopped watching Yu-Gi-Oh, but still love Pokemon. Really, is that still happening? Jesus. My, I mean, I know Pokemon goes out, but I didn't realize Pokemon was still a running animation. It's probably Kono Subadashi or One Punch Man for the moment. Ah, oh, Kono Subadashi. I have no idea what that is, but if you're putting that next to One Punch Man which I fucking love, then I'm curious enough to open another tab, go into Google Images, even though we're really late in the episode. Oh, no, maybe I have searched this. I get so many recommendations from you guys and girls, which turn out to be some random harem-looking anime, and this just looks like another one of them. But we'll leave that tab open for research purposes later. Uh, Kitty Kitty Meow Meow also says, I love hearing MM's rants. Thank you very much. I do rant and sidetrack a lot. This is simply how I operate in my brain. And Pishposh says, my favourite anime by far is Attack on Titan. Conveniently, it was also my first anime I ever saw. Have you seen the second season yet? Pishposh, have I watched it? No. Have I read through it? Yes. Thanks to all of you guys saying, look, stick with it. It actually gets better again. Which it did. Thanks for the suggestions. Um, Arch Uriel Dumorte. Arch Uriel Dumorte says, Hi Mikey, hello AUDM. I'm a fan of your work and I have a lot of problems with the butt. Can you make a tutorial on how to draw the butt? Yes, I can. I've done a basic bums and legs, but we can do more bum in the few. <laughs> that doesn't sound... That sounds like I'm in a really casual relationship and like I'm agreeing to anal sex with some girl later on. Yeah, yeah, we can do some more bum later down the line. Don't worry, love, it will happen. Just, you know, relax. Um, Troll You says, Mikey Mega Mega, do you like anime hentai? Yes or no? Oh, as mentioned, Troll You, all questions welcome. Um, I've got nothing particularly against it, I don't really care. Um, and sometimes you'll see it and just be like, oh my god, am I, am I getting feelings in my crotch off of this? And so, you know, live your life, it's absolutely fine. Um, am I into it in terms of like, do I actively seek it out? No. And again, it's just for the reasons that I've mentioned in that it's absolutely fine if you like that shit totally cool don't mind to live your life um but that's the kind of shit that puts people who don't know about anime and manga off exploring anime and manga like it's the internet everything's rule 34 um but uh yeah like uh it's not my main vibe to be honest oddly enough uh, which is i appreciate it. probably hard to like get your head around seeing as like i draw people in reverse clicks and those monetized views by drawing them boobs but i've got the drawing skills and i'm going to flaunt it I'm kidding, I'm not that far up my own ass. I'm competent in some areas, but just like all of you lot, I'm just another random dude on the journey of drawing. We are running out of time, and that really cuts me up, but it's really damn fine. Why did I rhyme that? Um, what was the question one of you lovely people mentioned earlier? It was, what you lovely people at home who like drawing or like just sketching out or getting art or anything creative done, doesn't even have to be about drawing. What little trick, hint or tip did you discover or learn from someone but you just thought, oh, fuck, that makes my life so much easier. That's suddenly just changed my ability to do this to that. What was it? Um, share it. We'll share it with the crowd in the next episode. Hopefully that question is more difficult to get your head around. And as such, there'll be less people answering it. And I'll have less comments to read through. Bloody love you. Uh, time for a couple more. We'll fit in some short ones. Uh, Bonnie Sheila says, I guess technically it's Voltron. Yes, another Voltron. What got me hooked was Cowboy Bebop, though. Excellent, because Cowboy Bebop is fucking amazing. Well done. And one more. Let's just go for a scroll. What I'm doing is um, YouTube now. It hasn't got a load more button. I just scroll to the bottom and it has a think and then it loads more of your comments. Scrolling, 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 scrolling. And let's go to Carolina Jimenez. It says, my first anime was One Punch Man. That's a good place to leave it because One Punch Man is great. Guys and girls, 
so many comments which I was really surprised by because now that we're not doing a competition I was really expecting this to die that back down I suggest I suggest or I what's the word where you try to guess for future I oh god my ability to be verbose has suddenly died we're out of time um my guesstimate for the next episode that's the best that I've got Jesus um I estimate in the next episode there's gonna be much less comments um and therefore we'll be able to dive in in a little bit more detail and have a read through thank you so much to each and every one of you who has commented i'm going to have a little scroll through when i come back from what i'm up to tonight and just basically check out and read through the rest of your comment section and your suggestions mostly to steal what you've got to say if you think it's really good and watch it myself in my own time thank you for sharing and of course get in the comment section of this episode if i've not read out what you want to say and it's really important or you've got something else to get involved with let me know what you're up to in a very general sense ask any question or talk about anything we focus on art and anime because that's loosely what the channel's about but seriously this is a super casual as you've noticed by now random sweary series we'll cover anything i really don't mind it's just a chance to catch up with you guys as ever thank you for like you know following the channel watching the videos and subscribing a great big thank you as ever to those delicious patrons on patreon because we wouldn't still be running if it wasn't for you like you make all of this possible and an extra great big thank you to those high-end bad boys including but not limited to steve r minion 715 michael s quay joseph alvin r hans n icy zargi the clamps trent h wesby julio felix o james s christian l gabriel r adam t and jeff g i hope each and every one of you lot as well as each and every one of all of you have a lovely week let me know what's going on you guys share your art hints and tips and i'll see you next time take care